These falafels are all about flavor. So first things first, let's flavor the lentils. So I've got two and a quarter cups of canned lentils that I've drained. Then I'm going in with a cup of water. I've got some oregano. Now I've cut up an entire onion here. We're not gonna use all of it now. I'm just gonna use about a quarter of a cup. And then I've also got three cloves of garlic. We're not gonna use all of those. Gonna grate one of them in. Last thing to go in is a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Give that a stir. And this just needs to cook for 10 minutes on medium heat. So now that the lentil mixture is done, I just wanna transfer it to a bowl and we're gonna let it cool. So I'm just gonna put this behind me to let it cool. And now we wanna work on some of the meatier flavors in these falafels. So in the same saucepan, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of olive oil. Gonna go in with the rest of the onion, shred the rest of the garlic. And then I have got some finely chopped kale and finely chopped mushrooms, about three cups worth, and that's all gonna go in. This is gonna simmer for 10 minutes. Perfect, this looks great. Let's finish the lentils. So in our bowl, I wanna go in with my balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and then the juice of half a lemon. Cool, and now the best part, we mash it with a potato masher. So you'll notice this is a vegan recipe, but you'll never know. When you take a bite out of it, you're just like, oh yeah, that is so fresh and yummy, and, and it's got quite a meaty texture actually with the mushrooms as well, so it's delicious. So the last thing that has to happen here, we're almost done, I wanna go in with my breadcrumbs, my walnuts, and then of course, our veggie mixture. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, now what we're gonna do, grab yourself a baking sheet with some parchment paper on it. We're gonna take little golf ball size amounts, roll them up, place them on top. Just fill up the baking tray like that, Now I wanna drizzle the top with some olive oil, and they're ready to bake. So let's build a pita. Over here I have got some purple cabbage, which I've crunched up with a little bit of white wine vinegar and salt. I've got some tomato and cilantro. I have some tzatziki, which I thinned out with a little bit of water, so it's kind of more of a pouring consistency. And then I've got some pita. All right, let me show you how to do this. It honestly doesn't matter that this is healthy. Like, I don't even care. And you shouldn't either. This is so good. Thank you for watching. I hope you get a chance to try this. If you do, snap it at me. I'm at Feeling Peckish, and I'll see you next time.